Hi there, today I'm unboxing a smart parking sensor. So this is for a situation where your car doesn't have any parking sensors on there. So quite a, a cool design, it actually fits within your actual license plate as shown in the picture here. It's actually by a company called Fensens and details are in the description below if you're looking into buying a product like this. So let's have a look around the packaging. It comes in quite a large package and nice and glossy packaging on there. Let's show some details it's showing here. So it's wireless, battery, battery life is around nine months, installs in five minutes with a screwdriver, instant hands-free alerts, fast app auto launch, works in extreme weather conditions and comes with a one year warranty. Okay, and on the back, some details. So let's have a look what the package comes with. So we pull this out. Okay, so some foam here covering it. Okay. Some card, so this is where your license plate will be going in. Okay, so that's the actual mount for your license plate. This is your sensors on here, so one at either end. Got a number of different fixtures and screws. Okay, so got a Allen key sort of equivalent to sort of fit this. More fixtures. Before use, please insert battery. So this actually clips on to your steering wheel to activate this. Okay, so more fixtures. Batteries, okay, nice. It comes with batteries straight away, no messing around. and some instructions, and that's it. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, just to quickly show you some of them. So the instructions comes in two languages, English and French, quick flick through there. I've had a quick look, it seems pretty straightforward from what I've seen so far. This is an interesting one. So a mount for your actual phone. So this clips in to your vents on the car, so push it straight on. And then you've got bits of mag um, metal, and then this is a magnet and it just clips on. So what that enables you to do, is if I get my phone, which is here, I'll pull the cover off, place this inside. And then when I'm in my car, I could just bring it up and it just stays in place. Very useful actually. And it's quite firm so it doesn't just drop off. So very useful getting that. And what you can also do, if I take the phone out, you can actually just take the sticky pad off the back and stick it directly on if you wanted to. So options there. And you have another one as well, a round one, if you wanted to make use of that. So quite nice they've given that with the actual product. Next, you've got the actual remote controller. So if I pull that off, so you just tap the button and it'll enable the app in theory. So if I pull that off, you can put the battery in first of all. Okay, and it just fits in like so. Put the cover back on. and tap, simple as that. And quite flexible here, so it should easily attach onto your steering wheel. Okay, so the actual plate you get with this, plastic seems fairly rigid. So good it's plastic, obviously avoids any sort of corrosion on there. You've got some screw holes, 
and clips where your license plate just sort of slides in. If I show it at an angle, give you a good idea. There, 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 and there. And it's a slight ridge there, so you can just sort of slot your license plate in and then obviously put this on top, which is the actual sensor part of things. And that just clips in. So if I hold it carefully, like so, and you've got three screw holes that'll actually secure this in place so your license plate can't be pulled out. And obviously the screws holding this are security screws so you just can't go up to it with any old screwdriver and unscrew it and take it away. Okay, so the product actually comes with four lithium batteries. Not a branded one. It's got some Chinese writing on the actual packaging. I would have preferred if they actually gave Duracell, so you know that's a brand you've heard of. So let's have a go at installing these. So we need one of the security keys and there's two points, one there and one there. And it should just be a case of gently just slotting this in and turning this. Very tight sort of fit and doesn't look like something you could easily put a screwdriver in to take out. So it's good to know. Obviously you don't want someone coming up and sort of ripping this away. Okay, and a tight seal over this. And there you go, the actual battery compartment. So if I take one of the batteries, put them in, and then put the rest after it. So it says it comes, it should last approximately nine months. So that's not too bad really. Okay, and that's it, simple as that. So I should put the batteries in, very easy. Okay, so now the batteries on the actual sensor, you slot in your license plate and then you can lock it in place like so. So if I just push this in gently, there you go, that's locked in place now. Okay, so next we wanna put the screws in to actually secure it. So there's three screws, one long and two shorter ones. The longer one actually goes into this area here and the two shorter ones at these ends there. Then you can get your sort of security type Allen key and then just tighten it up like so. Simple to do. So you could actually do this away from your car initially and then, well actually no, sorry, what am I saying? This has to be fitted first, obviously that has to be secure onto your car then obviously you've got to slide in and then you've got to plug this on to ensure it can't easily be taken. Obviously lots of different sort of holes here adapted to suit a variety of combinations of where your holes could be on the car. So it should easily adapt to any sort of car. There you go, simple as that, locking it in place. Okay, so we've got the battery fitted in the remote and we've got the batteries fitted in to the actual number plate holder. Next thing to do is to install the app. So if we go to the Play Store, so this is my Android phone, click in Play Store, and you can just search for Fen Sen Smart Wireless Parking Sensor. There you go, that's the one. We hit install. Okay, now the app's installed. Let's click open. Okay, it needs access to photos and media on the device for some reason. It needs access to record audio and location as well. Okay, it needs me to create an account, so let me do that. 
off camera. Okay, so I've registered my account and logged in and this is what I'm presented with. Welcome, thanks for purchasing FinCEN. We will walk you through setup. Okay, front or back, we're gonna go for the back. Next to that, FinCEN installation. Okay, clearance. So measure the space from FinCEN to the edge of your car and number of inches so let's say so it shows the bumper and obviously the clearance to the end so we're going to say about six inches on that turn on fencing we're looking for fencing okay found it okay so now we've actually registered the fencing there's the app on your phone. If we start it up, this is the first thing you're presented with. So safe tips. I acknowledge that Fencen is not a replacement for safe driving. I will not rely on Fencen in evaluating my vehicle surrounding. Okay. And there you go. That's the actual car and a picture of the back with the sensor working. So if I go to home, let me show you around the app. So you've got Google Maps, Spotify Music, Pandora Radio, Your Mechanic, AAA Mobile, and Rescue Time. If I click here, go back to it, click on there. You've got settings. So you can adjust settings and even say if you've moved the sensor to the front, if you prefer it on the front. Now, if I go to Manage Devices, this is where you can add in additional devices. So if I click on tap buttons, okay, so we click add quick launch button and it's found it there. If it doesn't find it, you just hold on to the actual button for five seconds. So if I click here, okay, it's added it. So now we can just go back, back there. You can check for updates as well if you wanted to. Let's go back to home and back to the sensor. So if I go back, back, there you go. And that's how it works. When you want it in action, you just hit the tap button and it flips straight over to the parking sensor. That's the idea of clicking it on, uh, actually attaching it onto your steering wheel. So when you actually need it, there you go. It's available straight away. Okay, so let's show the product in action. So if I get my phone, I'll just put it here for now. And I'll hold the tap button here. We've got a wall just ahead of us there. And if I hit the tap button, there you go. Sensors come on. Obviously the app started and you can sense distance. So the wall's there. If I move it forward, there you go works really well and a simple way actually to install it nothing too tricky about this accuracy wise it doesn't seem too bad if i keep going keep going it does get shorter and shorter the distance and if i place it right here you'll see there's literally nothing there it's trying to show so i can do it and there you go what a cool idea and a simple way to get parking sensors on your car. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing of this smart parking sensor. Very simple to set up and very easy to use. Quite impressed how it has the tap button to sort of pull up the app on your phone as you're going along to so quickly initiate the device and accuracy wise it's not too bad obviously they do note don't solely rely on the actual sensor do obviously look around when you're parking as normal you never know what could be i guess in the way so always heed caution when you're using things like this but there you go a great little product details are in the description below thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe